So hey there, this is Ayusha and today we will learn how to calculate the motor driving torque of a ball screw linear actuator using the solid work motion simulation. Interesting. So this is our linear actuator model. If you are interested how to design this linear actuator, you can check out the complete playlist link is in description. So in order to do the motion study, first we need to suppress the parts or assembly which is not participating in the simulation. So here I am suppressing the components and now our model is totally lighter so we can simulate it. And before simulation, first we have to define the screw mechanism, the ball screw mechanism and for that go to the mat and go to the mechanical and select a screw and in the screw select the a screw and also select the nut and here we can select the distance per revolution which is 10 mm 10 mm is the lead of the ball screw and hit ok and now when we will rotate it the ball screw ball screw will rotate or when we will rotate the ball screw, the slide plate will be rotated as the ball screw will be rotated same as a practical. So now go to the motion study tab and here change the animation to motion analysis. And the first thing I want to do is the apply the load on the ball screw. So for that we can add a mass on it and we can apply the gravity. But here I will directly apply the load on the ball screw. So to apply the load, go to the force, select the force and select the face where we want to apply the force. So I am selecting this face and the force direction is downward. And now we have to set the magnitude of the force. So here we can set it into Newton and the force was 680 Newton and hit OK and now we have to add a motor which will rotate the ball screw so we can measure the torque on the motor I hope you get my idea so go to the motor and select rotary motor and just for demonstration I am selecting the ball screw this phase as a motor means from this phase, this screw will be start rotating. And here we can set the constant speed, distance and oxidation and all that and servo motor also. But just for demonstration, I am selecting the constant speed and set it to 100 RPM. You can also check at the 2400 RPM, which was our maximum RPM as per the calculation and hit OK. So let's try to calculate it. So when we will start the calculation. The ball screw is rotating and this is coming down but we have to calculate the required torque when this sliding plate will going up. So how we can do that? Just reverse the direction of motor. So just check this button and hit OK. And now let's try to recalculate it. And this is fine. So now we have to add the result. So go to the result and the plot and here select the force and in the subcategory select the motor torque and select the motor and hit OK. Ah, we have to define a magnitude and hit OK. And now we get the torque value right here. So the torque value is approximately is 1840 Newton mm. So now we have to convert into Newton meter. So go to our Excel sheet and write it 1840 Newton millimeter. So to convert into Newton meter, we have to divide this value by 1000. So it will become 1.84 Newton meter and but in the simulation we haven't add any surface contact or safety factor and the, our safety factor in a calculation was 80 percent so what we have to do we have to divide this value by 0 0.8 and this is 2.3 Newton meter so this result is okay but this result can be different when we uh, 
setting the regulation of property regulation like we can change the accuracy so it will be changed accordingly but as my system is not high configured so i cannot make the calculation on the high accuracy and this was just for the fun so let's wrap up this series right here thank you so much for the watching please leave your feedback for the complete series i will really appreciate you